Skynet has sent a Terminator back in time. You are the only one who can do this. Tell me where Malcolm is. If the Terminator can't get to Malcolm, the children will be its next target. Terminator Zero is an anime that needs to be on everyone's radar immediately. It's made by Production IG, the same studio who made Ghost in the Shell and flips back and forth between 2022 and 1997. As Malcolm Lee, a scientist, has developed a new AI system to compete with Skynet to stop Judgment Day, which for those of you who don't know is where everything goes to crap and Skynet goes to take out all of humanity. This show truly surprised me in so many ways and in my opinion actually rivals the first two Terminator movies with what it's able to do. So let's quickly talk about what I liked and didn't like in a quick spoiler free review. Let's start off with the animation in this as it is incredibly impressive with how visceral it all feels. It manages to capture the gritty feel of the movies and it's just surprisingly gory with the way people are taken out in this. And you know how when in some anime hold incredibly long shots on characters with their backs to the camera or even have them covering their mouth? Thankfully this show does none of that and manages to keep simple dialogue scenes from feeling stagnant by using a variety of different framing techniques. Which definitely kept me engaged whenever someone went on a long monologue. But like in any good Terminator story, the one thing they really need to nail is the Terminator. And we get a very scary and vicious Terminator in this. It actually gives me chills. This Terminator felt appropriately intimidating and damn near unstoppable. There's a sense of dread in the air when he's hunting down our heroes, which is perfectly captured with his ruthless nature and approach to the situation. And I really just liked how clever this Terminator was, using makeshift weapons and tools to outsmart anything that gets in its way through some truly well thought out action scenes, which were all well designed for the most part, as our heroes always felt undermatched, leading them to resort to some creative ways just to make it out alive. There's this one intensely brutal scene in a police station with callbacks to other parts of the Terminator series that also manage to make it feel unique. Nods to several other Terminator movies are made throughout this, but it still manages to make it feel like its own, and manages to tell its own story without interfering with the already established lore. The dialogue felt very natural and didn't have those awkward moments and pauses that you often see in certain anime. All in all, this was a very high quality production overall, from the visuals to the sound design to even the score, which was actually used sparingly, so whatever it was played, it felt like a big moment. The story had a lot to say, not only about the franchise, as a whole, but the human condition as well as AI, while at the same time managing to venture to some new places the series has never gone to before. I would say it's a great jumping on point for new fans of the series and very accessible for those who don't even watch anime. It's also easily bingeable across its eight episodes through a very cohesive and focused story, all taking place over a two day period. Every character felt like they had clear motivations as all of them had a part to play with no one really taking away from the story and dragging it down. The last thing that I want to note that I very much appreciated was the stylized nature of the animation and specific specifically the lighting that they chose to use. There were these neon highlights to accent a lot of the character designs, and this was something that really popped well through darker scenes and at night, and was something I'd love to see more of in other anime. But since no anime is exactly perfect, let's talk about some other aspects that I think they could have done a little bit better on. Malcolm, what are you scared of? Judgment. So even though the neon highlights looked great during the night scenes, they didn't quite look nearly as good during daylit scenes. It was a little overused for my taste, and I think they could have just saved it for the night scenes where it made more sense. During the day, it kind of looked like all the characters had highlights in their hairs, which is totally fine, but it made it feel very inconsistent scene to scene. It just sort of felt out of place during the day, since the light source wasn't really matching up with the surrounding. The CGI could be a little too noticeable during certain scenes, specifically scenes where the camera was often rotating around a certain character. And lastly, one particular character revelation was very predictable as it was the sort of thing that was more than obvious from the first episode. But thankfully once the reveal hit I actually kind of liked what they did with this character and how it affected those around them. Overall, I feel like this is the best Terminator story since T2 as it aims to tell an ambitious story in a very focused way. It manages to cut out a lot of the fluff the franchise can suffer from at times to tell a story that is completely original yet still aligns with its predecessor. Production IG produced what will likely go down as the surprise anime hit of the year in this. The production values were all top tier as there are so many stunning frames of animation and set pieces throughout to make this memorable. So I'm going to give Terminator Zero an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's one of the series best offerings and showcases the quality of stories this franchise is capable of telling when you have a talented group of people behind it. But also had enough time and took their time creating it all. That's a huge part of it too. Which as a fan of Terminator and an anime fan in general really warmed my heart. But I'm curious to know if you've watched Terminator Zero and what you thought about it. I'll have plenty more anime reviews coming up for the fall anime season so be sure to subscribe for those. As well as gaming and movie reviews if that's something you're into. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.
This is one of the best looking animes that come out this year, and we've had quite a few great ones already. There's something about how the neon lights and futuristic tech create this ambiance that make the show feel unique yet familiar. And in between all the crazy action, it really knows how to slow things down to tell a more personal story as well. 